So when you see great miracle crusade, that's the reason why a lot of advertisement is made to be able to give people uh, uh, to, uh, to, to whet their appetite. We can go through series of teachings and after teaching and after teachings and nothing ever happens in somebody's life because there is no target, because there is no expectation. Everything that God wants people to do for him is tied to an expectation. God cannot drive a man to a point of success without an expectation. He doesn't want an expectation to become an ambition. That's another thing entirely. But God is able to freely use much more people who have crazy expectations. Crazy expectations. So the prophetic word of the Lord for this month that is a month of hallelujah is not hallelujah for fun. It's not hallelujah for fun. It's not hallelujah for fun fair. It's hallelujah for a particular tangible breakthrough that you need. As a matter of fact, the message that we are bringing will not appeal to you if you are not somebody that has an empire in your mind that needs to be accomplished. I first add it from my spiritual father, Bishop Wale Okida. God only uses people who have empires in their mind. That's why sometimes you'll be looking at Pastor David. Very many years ago, somebody told me, he said, we, we have a very small church. Nobody even knows us. We are even just starting. He, that was about 21 years ago. He said, but the way you speak, you speak as if you want to take over the world. I said, that is what is in my mind. I told you on Sunday that a specialist neurosurgeon, one of the greatest of them, you know, was saying, was caught saying that there is a part in the brain where imagination, imaginations and realities happen at the same time. Because in the realm of dreams, imaginations are realities. If you can have it in your mind, God is able to put it in your hand. Nobody is going to move forward anywhere where people don't have expectations. It's just day in, day out, week in, week out. Even your prayer fire will go down because there is nothing you're looking for. So God asked me to tell you, tie this hallelujah issue to a particular expectation. Something that needs a turning point. Something that needs to turn around. Something that must sift. Something you are believing God to do. 